That's the unofficial winner. It's Mac Globel. We're waiting for the prices to go up. The time, 159 and 1. Not a world record, but a track record here at Pompano. And let's move right now to the winner's circle and Alan with the winning driver. I'm here with a man who was a regular on this show last year. Four appearances in the crown races. This is his first appearance here in the winner's circle this year. John, is this one of the best trotters you've ever driven? Now, this is the best two-year-old trotter by far. There's no comparison. He's a real top colt. He's handy. He can race any way you want to. We're going to go to a replay of this race. Mac Lobel isolated on the camera. We're going to pick things up in front of the three ace pole. Billy O'Donnell has made the lead with Buck Finder. He's the main competition, but John Campbell sends his charge to the front. John, when you let him have his head, he looked like he really was sharp tonight. Yeah, he was real good. When I moved him back to the front, he had a lot of trot. Uh, I was pretty sure Billy would we'd either have to go real fast or Billy would let me go. And then once I made the front, was able to get the third quarter back down, and then he trotted home real good. Last quarter at 28 in a piece, and we never started trotting until well into the stretch. Back down might be an understatement. 31 and 4 of the three quarters, as a lot of the field was struggling behind him. BJ Superstar has been out a long way. He's going to range up into third now. John, no real challenge there. No, not really. He wasn't coming that fast, and it just shows how versatile this cold is. He, I gunned him to the front, and then he just came right back to me, and uh, he was no trouble at all to go a third quarter like that. Now, you know that Mac Lobel holds the world records on a half mile track and a mile track. <laughs> you drove him that way. Here's a 5 eighths mile track and maybe he was sharp enough to take one tonight, but backing off the third quarter destroyed those chances. Any ideas why you did that? Well, I, Buckbinder was definitely the one to beat, and I didn't want him to run down the third quarter and get tired and get beat at the wire. You look awful foolish doing that. I was more concerned with winning with when Buckbinder was on my back. They're going to make the turn for home here. There's a couple of horses in contention. Neville Olympian starting to range up for George Holty, but the two first horses are going to leave the field in the dust. John, did you have any chance that you were going to get caught here? No, he felt pretty strong. He, he tried it right to the wire. The only thing he will kind of relax and not pay attention, but as long as that other horse was on the outside, he, he felt real strong all the way to the wire. John Campbell returning to a familiar place. Congratulations. And let's go over to Ellie, Dave Johnson to recap things. Well, let's take a look at the light show on the infield uh, after we see that uh, the winner, Mac Lobel, pays 380, 280, and 280. The five horse, Buck Finder, second at 340 and 280, with Neville Olympian, third at $6.40, into the happy winner's circle in Ellie Saram. I'm joined by Maureen Monahan, one of the members of the One More Time Stable. Congratulations you, to Ellie. you. This horse was a $17,000 purchase as a yearling. Right. Well, what made you buy him? Oh, it was the first crop of Mystic's, Mystic Park, and we thought, Mr. Guida thought, that he definitely was going to make a great sire, and he definitely had to have a Mystic Park, so we bought Mac Lobel. Are you a little disappointed you didn't get the world record? You're never disappointed when you win, Ellie. <laughs> no, never, especially a Breeders' right, Crown race. So. Were you confident going into the race? Yes, but there were some anxious moments coming down the stretch, but we were confident. Well, we like to give you our congratulations to the One More Time Stable, and now back to Dave. Quite an evening here at Pompano Park. In the infield, Fred Van Lettup, chairman of the board of Pompano, making the trophy presentations. And again, the price is Mac Lobel, 380, 280, 280. Buck Finder, 340, 280. Neville Olympian, $6.40 for the show spot. Be sure to be with us next Friday for what should be one of the greatest nights in horse racing history as we go to Garden State Park in New Jersey. Not for one, but for four Breeders' Crown Championship events. Over $2 million in purses, two hours of excitement beginning at our broadcast time, 9 p.m. Eastern. Breeders' Crown 86 has been brought to you by Pompano Park. By Castleton Farm, a tradition of excellence. And by the nationwide investment firm of First Jersey Securities. Come grow with us. Once again, the winner of tonight's Breeders' Crown in 159-1 and one was Mac Lobel, driven to victory by John Campbell, and it looks like Mac Lobel will take the two-year-old.